Um, so, so if they are diagnosed early or, you know, even at moderate stage, uh, can they get back to a reasonably, uh, you know, reasonably productive and functional life uh, with treatment? As you know, if you look at multiple uh, diseases which have, you know, chronic course, hmm. whenever the disease is mild, the medications tend to work better. Because if the disease is mild, we are able to control it faster. Right. If the disease is severe, we have to use more medicines and control also takes a longer time. Hmm. So our focus as rheumatologists would be to make the patients aware as to if these symptoms are there and they are persisting for six weeks, 12 weeks, we are not reaching a diagnosis, then we need to look at an autoimmune cause uh, for the symptoms of the patients. Right. Now, if the patient has a mild disease, then we may use simple medicines to control it. But if the patient has moderate or severe disease, then they may need hospitalization, they may need injections, and more specialized treatment to control the disease. Right. Now, what treatment options we had in the 1980s and 1990s, and now it's the you know 2021, the treatment also has changed dramatically. Our confidence has changed. The drugs that are available are much better than what we had earlier. So definitely the patients, once they are on track, they have a diagnosis, they have a risk assessment, and they are on treatment. Uh, within a period of, uh, let's say, you know, six to 12 weeks, most of them show a good response and they are back to their normal activities. But they have to remember that this treatment is going to be long term and there is no full stop that we can do after three months. Yeah, I think this was one of the points we discussed uh, uh, before as well. And I think it's important to highlight is, you know, often people think that, OK, I'm better now and then they stop. Uh, their medication. So if you can just quickly, uh, you know, reinforce the point on that, uh, it'll be useful for the people watching. Sure, sure. So again, if to put it in simple words, uh, the medications that we give to treat lupus or in, for that matter, any autoimmune disease, we are trying to control the overactivity of the immune system. Now, if the immune system is controlled and the symptoms disappear and we stop the medicines, what is the outcome? The immune system again starts working over time right. and the symptoms come back. So if we continue the treatment and the response that the patient gives, accordingly, we reduce the medicines or adjust the medicines. And our aim is to give the least amount of medicines to the patient so that we can control the disease. So rather than you know putting them on some seven, eight, ten medicines for the rest of their lives, if they are better, the disease is controlled. Some of the patients might be just on a couple of medicines to control their disease. Uh, so it's like you know having this medicine to control your disease and having a good quality of life. That's the trade-off that they have to do. I'm right. going to take a couple of medicines and I'm going to lead a normal life, or I'm going to stop them, and I might land up in trouble in the next six to twelve months. Right. The other thing is that the medicines also have an effect on the body for some time. So patients tend to believe that I stopped the medicine on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was fine. From Thursday, I started having problem or I stopped it in March and I was okay till August. Right. So that they have to understand is that some patients, the problems might start in a few weeks. In some patients, it might be six months. Mm. Uh, so we need to, that's why continue the medicines in the bare minimum doses. Uh, whatever is required for the patient. Some patients right. require a lot of medicines. Some people require only a few medicines, which right. has to be tailored to the individual. 